Hello folks, today we're playing the full 1.0 release of Overcrowd, a game about building underground train stations. In this video, we're going to do an edited playthrough of building a Zone 3 station, so this is some way into a campaign once we've unlocked a lot of the cooler stuff. So welcome to this randomly generated campaign, I've already built all the green stations, and now we're going to jump into a new one which I've named Kyle End. And so this is by Square Play Games, who kindly gave me access to the game last year. Right, so we have got, let's have a look at the, the land we've been given. Very long and thin. Normally it's a bit more square than this. And we've got to decide exactly what we're going to do first. And let's have a look down into the bowels of the earth. And so we've got three levels to play with here. Uh, the green track is on the top level, uh, the yellow one is on the medium level, and there's we've got two, two blue ones right low down, and really close together, so that might be a, a thing we should focus on first, because it'd be cheaper to cram things in rather than spread things out. So first we need two staircases that go down onto minus level two. I'm just going to sell that, because that's just some starter stuff that we don't need. And now I'm going to expand this into here, and also reduce the level of the ground. I think I will actually only need two, so I'll, I'll probably just sell that. But I may have to revisit that at some point. Then we need some stairs. Bung and bung. But anyway, now we've got a place to put our ticket office. I won't make it too big because money is quite tight in this. And But what I will do is have it so... Let's make it so there's a passageway down to where the trains are going to be. And so what I'll do is just surround the track with floor before we can actually place a station or a platform, um, which I'll do now. So we can fit a oh, two-carriage train. Add one more cell for one carriage. I want to do that, so let's just expand it one more cell and then put the platform back. And there we have a platform. Unfortunately, it's a bit tight at the moment, so let's just give it a look. Give them a little bit more space to play with. And then we need to configure this so that when the trains arrive, they only disgorge people on the right hand side like that. And fine. Okay, so now the they can theoretically get from there to there, but that's not quite finished yet. We do need an entrance there. And we also need we'll have to need to add some gate lines as well. A couple there and there. And then we need to make it so that the the, the staircase and the gate lines are both the, single directional, so make it so that they go walk down on the left by pointing them towards the platform, and they walk up on the left, <laughs> also on the left, because they're going up. So point them towards the exit, and here we'll do the same, so one side is going towards the platform and one side is going towards the exit. And the flow is now complete, uh, but we can't open the station just yet because we haven't actually powered the trains, they're not going to go anywhere. So we will now need to buy some more land um, and add a generator room. It's called a utility room. So I'm going to add a couple of level 2 generators, which will keep us going for a while, and a barrel of fuel. And that should be enough. Let's now open the station. People cheer, and we've opened the station to the public, and we've got a thousand quid because the mayor has given us that money for fulfilling open station to public bonus grant 1,000 quid. Uh, you can open the leave this open, but I already know what's going on. Essentially, to complete the scenario, we need to make three platforms, and we've made one so far, and we need two entrances, and we've got one so far. And so long as our reputation up here doesn't fall below zero, we should be fine. Right, so the lads are entering the station, they're going to the ticket machine, nice hat mate, and they'll eventually make their way to the platform over here. When a train arrives, that'll go green, or well, when a train's due to arrive, it'll go green, and we have to click on it to actually call it. Yes, we have to do it manually, but later on we can um, automate that. Right, okay, so we can fit three carriages on the platform, which is all very nice, and we've got a little bit of space to spare. Right, I'm pausing this because we've had the first problem. We've got a rat um, in the kitchen, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to get our staff on the case. Uh, we already have staff carried over from the previous maps, so we don't need to like set everything up um, from scratch. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll put everybody on shift. And you can have a look at them all here. And this is a RimWorld style priority sorter, but you can only sort that out once you've actually got um, some tools. And you, can, you have to buy the tools and place them in the room, and the staff will go and pick up those tools and apply them. So yes, yet again we need to do some room building. I'll throw in the basics at first. Litter picker. Oh, actually we'll do, we'll do a jerry can so they can refill the generators. And a tool kit so they can repair trains. And let's add a litter picker. The all-important litter picker, we'll have a couple of those. A megaphone for getting people moving. First aid, the important first aid. And a mop. Right, so the staff, here they come, here come the lads. Right, so there she'll go and grab the tools. 
Um, these guys all have enough room in their pockets to fit three skills, or three tools, because I've upgraded them. They usually start with only the ability to hold two. Right, so at the moment they're standing around in weird spots, so let's actually put the flags somewhere sensible. I'm going to put them all basically somewhere in the middle of the station. Those, those kind of cones are their areas of being able to see what's going on. You can upgrade those. So this is, these, these priorities carry over from my previous stations as well as the actual staff. So I've already assigned what's going on. And I've doubled up essentially on most things. So there's always going to be at least two people doing each job because they do like to go on breaks, our staff. I do need a staff room. Um, so they can rest up. So I think I might, I might actually add that over here. Um, like this. It's a bit big. I probably won't need it that big. And money it does get quite tight, especially if you're trying to expand too quickly. But I'll do that so that the walls remain in place. I'll put the door there. Um, all we need really is a couple of chairs and water cooler. Put it there. And a vending machine there. Is there enough power? Yes, there is. That's plenty. We'll might need to keep on adding more generators. So Johnson already needs a drink, so he's off. Don't we all? And the staff are complaining there aren't enough megaphones. Um, I could... I mean, the megaphone thing, it just, like, encourages people to get to the, uh, the platform. It especially stops them dawdling and overcrowding the station. Um, so I could... I mean, at the moment they are complaining that there aren't enough megaphones. I, I could either add another megaphone, or I could just ignore them, because, to be honest, it's not important. So I think I might. You've got probably... Johnson's probably got too much to do, so I'll stop you complaining. Call the train. Oh, she's confused. She doesn't know where she's going, so let's put in a map. Level 2 map, you can put in the middle of things, so I'll do that there. There also... people will... Oh, hello! Someone got knocked out. And Malay has come to mop up the, the sweat. Alexander, who has a first aid kit, has come to actually repair the knocked out person. Someone's complaining about a plant. Someone's complaining about being late. Um, hmm. That's a bit of a complaint. Who cares? <laughs> is all I have to say. We've got a bit of cash spare, so let's put in some comfortable benches instead of uncomfortable ones. Oh, we haven't got enough space. So let's add another layer here. And then we can put in the benches. Nice load of benches. All good. Uh, they also, uh, we also do need some lighting. So we'll put in some lights, one there. We'll need to put, put in light right in the middle. There. Put in one, probably need to be one about there. And also one down the other end. Here. You can use overlays. And the... Oh god, this... Yeah, people have been... The orange spot is where people um, were standing in the dark and now there are, people have been complaining. And reputation has been lost as a result. There's also comfort, dirt, overcrowding, and also the thermal overlay. Um, it's very cold at the moment because the machines haven't really warmed up. There's also a commerce thing going on, but we haven't got any shops yet, so that's not something that we need to worry about for the moment. Oh, hello! Yep. The bin got full very quickly. Thankfully, Malay has got the litter, pitter, litter picker skill and has dealt with it. Uh, King also has the litter picker skill, but he's off on break. He's being lazy by taking his actual legal break. God damn it. Right, so everyone, everything seems to be ticking over nicely now, because I haven't expanded too quickly, which is always a good thing. Uh-oh. Cardiac arrest. There's also some noxious fumes. There's also some litter. Hmm, might need to start redeploying people a bit. So, who's had the hardia cardiac arrest? Oh, there! Right in front of the ticket machine. Now, have we got a defibrillator? I don't think we have. Well, maybe I have put one. No, I haven't. Okay, so we'll need to quickly squeeze in that there. Someone should already have this in their list of things to do. Yes, there we go. Alexander and Bennett can both do this. Alexander has gone to... Fe Oh, hang on. Oh no, Bennett is dealing with it. Alexander's doing something else. Just standing there, really. Right, so you're now cured, and that's given me a lot of reputation. 56%. Hmm, that's not great. But it'll do for now. We will need some seats in better places. Uh, I kind of like want to leave this bit free, because I think this entrance way over here, I'll eventually want to link back up to the ticket office, so I'm thinking about having a corridor that goes over the top of the train lines, which will re require the use of stairs, and then back down over here. I don't really want to have loads of ticket officers, otherwise that's very inefficient and a bad use of staff. Well, we'll have to hire loads of extra people, and we don't really want that. So it's getting towards night time. They'll all leave at 11pm, so hopefully they'll all get on board the train and bugger off before that happens. 
Yes, all. All good. So that's all for today. Now everyone, any second now, they'll start buggering off. I really need to move this stuff around because I've put things in terrible places. Off they all go, to the nearest exit. Get a bloody move on, lads. So you can, like, um, spend all night doing stuff. Like, if there's a lot of stuff to tidy up, they can be doing that. Or you can skip on till dawn. But I, I want to use this opportunity to, like, um, put enough... To move things around a little bit. Uh, I think... Do that to there. That to there. Well, here's the reputation screen. So, journey complete, 13% reputation. And a few other things as well. The bad things... Um, it was gloomy because we didn't put any lights in to start with. But tomorrow, that'll be fine. Litter, there was quite a bit of litter. But otherwise, we're doing okay. 56% reputation. It's not good, but it's not bad either. So the next projects, um, I'm going to add a new entrance, but that's quite expensive, so I don't really want to be doing that right now. And the next, another project that I want to do is add a little commerce district for the platform, where there'll also be a bog, because people are complaining about bogs, also drinks machines, and stuff like that. So at the moment, I'm just kind of waiting for cash to build up a little bit. But we can, I think, possibly be... Adding a little bit of extra space there. That might be enough. So we can probably f quickly flip in a quick bog. There we go. And that's all the cash we've got. We don't want to finish the day with no money at all because we've got to pay um, the staff and also refill stuff and various other things as well which will cost some cash. Come on. There we go. But we need... We need um, commerce, really. We need, we, we've got like Chris machines, drinks machines, fruit and veg stalls, and all sorts, sorts of stuff, which will all be a nice little earner. Well, I've not got enough money for my second entrance project. So now I need to just quickly do that, and that, and open this, and also call the train. And now that means we're going to have like twice as many people all entering the station, which is all very nice. And because it's so close to here, we don't need to, like, expand anyone's area of influence. We may need to put in a couple of seats up here as well, but I don't think we need to worry too much. Might as well just give a little extra space up there. Right, so that should hopefully get us all a bit more profitable. Uh, I should also add in a couple of those machines we were talking about. Let's see. Maybe just, like, a drinks machine. Oh, they're all gone. That can wait until morning, then. So I've just earned a thousand quid because, finally, that entrance has come good and we've um, satisfied the requirements for getting people in. So I've got loads of cash now. So there's a few projects we can take on. It's noticeable that we've got a lot of people in the station and we haven't got enough trains. So I think we should probably sort out a second platform. And we shall be able to get to, hopefully, just by a simple footbridge, if I have anything to do with it. I think what I'll do is I'll expand across to here. Across like that. Put in the second station. Hopefully... This this may require more power. Hopefully, we, oh god, we've already started to... Ooh, still not quite that much cash. Right, um, I finally afforded a footbridge, which, which was hand... Oh dear, someone just died. Yeah, someone had a heart attack um, there before I built the footbridge, so that kind of like buggered that up a bit. But we've, and also the train started to arrive, but we're all good now. We can now get to... We can finally get to our platform too. Although, unfortunately, we haven't actually got, got the sign sorted yet. So, before we do that, let's make sure that that time stale points, uh, points to um, platform 2. We'll also have to do this and for every single stair as well. I mean, really, you don't really put that many stairs in the station normally anyway, so this is not too much of a hassle. That should have done that. We may as well call train now, because now... The, there we go. Now we can actually get there. And I think we will actually have to add a little bit of extra space. What I might do as well is and put a, another bridge at the other end. So we have an issue. <laughs> uh, really sorry about this. Um, it's not wheelchair accessible around here. <laughs> There's a great big staircase. I haven't actually procured the lift yet, so let's have a bit of a look-see about that. There it is. Um, I've got loads of bonds because I've been shifting loads of people. My reputation got very low, by the way, because um, well, they, the bins weren't emptied because I forgot to add another wheelie bin, but that's all sorted now. So we came very close to losing um, off camera, which would have been very awkward indeed. Um, so I don't really have any... Unfortunately, she's not going to really get satisfied here because we don't really have any money to install any lifts. So yeah, you're going to have to be wheeling around there for a while. Oh no, there's someone else! Oh my god, it's... Uh, uh, well, the wheelchair people are here. Oh no. Let's see how much a wheelchair... A lift accessible thing can actually... 1,600 quid? Ugh. I'm sorry. 
I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, the, the wheelchair people won't be able to get down these two staircases either. And they won't be able to get over that bridge. So that would be a longer term project. Uh, what I was thinking about doing is having an um, making it so there's a, an exit up here and an entrance only here, just to keep people in a one-way system. But getting them up to here, getting another bridge or getting another foot staircase up to here is going to be a bit of a ch bit of an ask. So I might wait until it actually starts complaining about overcrowding before we do that. But all we need to do now, actually, to complete the scenario in the most basic way, is build uh, one more platform. We've already got the two entrances, so just one more platform will do it. Uh, Irritatingly, if it was another entrance, we could just hook this one up over here, which would be very easy indeed. But instead, we'll aim towards a platform once we've got a bit more cash, because that's going to be a very expensive endeavour. Otherwise, things are ticking over nicely, because I've, I've kept on expanding the skill room further and further, and the level of staffing, 5, seems to be coping quite admirably. Our reputation is still low. We probably will need to actually add some more um, commerce before we go any further, before we actually complete the scenario. Otherwise, our reputation is just at risk of getting down to zero at any second. So, more cash. Oh, we've probably got enough cash already, to be honest. What I might do is expand this a little bit. Add in, let's see, a newspaper stand. We haven't got a newspaper stand. I'll probably add another one in here as well, so people outside the uh, gate line can actually get it. Newspaper as well. I just want to make sure that our reputation, because our reputation keeps on being bad shopping range. Also gloomy. Oh, we haven't got any lights in our new area. Um, let's see. Lighting. Yeah, we need lighting here, don't we? There, there, and there. Let's hopefully... Let's hope there's enough generators for that. By the looks of it, yes there is. So we should be okay. Someone's having another heart attack. Well, not another one, but you know what I mean. Thankfully this time, all rescued. I think earlier we had a bit of a catastrophe, but... All is fine this time, and that's increased our reputation. We're slowly crawling out of the gutter of reputation. So we're nearly there. We're just I'm just sorting out this staircase over here. I've also added a one-way system now, so um, this is the exit. Uh, I mean, they, they don't change between platforms. They only ever go from like a, uh, one train to the exit or vice versa. So we've set it up so that they'll always go out of this exit now. They don't really care about which exit they go out of. Right, nearly there. Conf I've configured most things, but there's still a few things I need to configure. Oh, we haven't got enough power. Oh, quickly do it. Does the does that. Um, I've moved things around as well. Oh, there's no barrel. Ooh. I'm going to move the utility. But there's, there's now two two utility rooms. I also need to call some trains. I also need to make sure that people know how to get to platform three. Which is it's a bit confusing because I had to put it behind a different gate line, which means to get the ticket they have to go down the stairs and then back up again. Which is not ideal. Also, these stairs aren't really quite working at the moment. They need to go up in the air like that. That's all fine. Those are all fine, although that also needs... Oh! That's a slight problem. Oh, that's fine. We can. We only need the exit there. Because they're not going to go from platform 3 to platform another platform. There. They're only ever going to go to the exit. But we'll need to make sure... Oh god, we also need... No, that's fine. Yep, all good. Also need that. Also need that. And I think that should sort that out. Oh, someone's a, a, got a drunk! Ugh. We need, a, we need a taser tool. Or at least a caution, anyway. But anyway, we've now got all three platforms. And to complete now, we just have to shift another small amount of commuters and, we've, and we're done. Come on, there we go. I really need to put some seats in here. No ticket! Oh! Oh dear, we do need... Okay. We need a ticket office. Hang on. Another one. Oof. Someone's having another heart attack now. Every time I build a new station, someone has a heart attack. <laughs> also. Need to sort out this. But yes, as soon as I get to 1163, I'm done. But I just need to make sure... I mean, the, the staff should hopefully get up here and sort this out, because they've got such a, lot, a wide range of influence, but... Um, we are starting to get a very large station, so we'd have to start, have to start thinking about hiring more staff. And definitely automating it will be a good thing to do as well. We'll need a few benches. We'll need some bins. We'll need a map. We've hardly been put... Oh, I've got any cash. And gravitation sorted. Commuters sorted. 
Uh, if we got over a reputation of um, 75% or more, we'd get a, even more exciting bonuses. And we've built a one-star station. Hooray! And we can continue and add to the stars. What we'd have to do, really, is make more money and also increase our reputation to more than 18%. So we can play on, or we can go on to the map, where we will see a new station unlocked. Zone 2! Uh, that's of that um, row of stations. I've already got to the toxic layer via a different route, um, a, a different station, but now I've unlocked two different Zone 2 stations. Excellent. And at any point, I can actually go back and see previous stations. So we can just jump back to here and we'll carry on where we left off. Um, which is... which one was this? Oh, the <laughs> that's a loading screen. That was it. This was a nice simple time where I got three stars. Uh, this was... This was a beautiful one. But anyway, we'll stop here. So this is available now on Steam in version 1.0. I'm very pleased it's got this far because it's a really cool little game. And thanks for watching. Do subscribe to the channel to be notified when new stuff goes live. About all the latest and best new indie games out there. And check me out on Patreon or buy me a coffee. If you want to support us, keep us going. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.